are. GC City. Way up here in the northeast. Flight wasn't bad. Uh, I was listening to a podcast the whole way. And I could tell there was a kid. This was, I thought he was a baby from how loud he was. and He was a very babyish kid. Crying and... Uh, but when I saw him, I was like, hey, that's not a baby. That's like a, he's, you know, he's probably well on into kindergarten by now. One thing I should say about the city is the name of it is interesting. I, I don't know the story behind it. GC. G means chicken. C means west. So literally chicken west. There has to be some story behind that. You wouldn't just randomly name a city Chicken West. I'll uh, do some investigating and see what I can find out for you Straight guys. away, you can tell how small of a city this is. Because this airport is just tiny. I like it though. For me, a small place, a small town is just, in a way, convenience. You can do stuff quickly and uh, you don't have to walk far, you're there. Anyhow. So this is it. See, only a few people waiting. Not even night yet, but you can see. I mean, look, all cars, just like chaos over there. Look at that. Would you like to drive in that situation? You know, get these tents set up for different night markets. After dinner, I'm gonna go out and do a little exploring, see what we can find. This is the night market in action. Everybody just here drinking, eating. Just here pouring the beer. Want to give you a quick look at my hotel room, which is not your normal hotel. First, I'll just show you the room, then I'll tell you about it. Huge bed. Then, over to the bathroom. Decent place, right? Well, this is not your traditional hotel. This is a bathhouse, but that sounds kind of weird, but in China, they have some huge, huge bathhouses. And this, like I've told you in previous videos, some hotels can't accept foreigners. So, because of that, um, I have a friend here in this city, and uh, they were, they said there's a hotel right by their house I could stay in. I was like, are you sure they can accept foreigners? So they opened the room for me, and I was like, oh, now I see. Because that's one way around the rule, is like some... It's like a bathhouse slash hotel. I mean, these places are like things you can't even imagine back home. It's like a, a huge, I'll, I'll give you a tour of it. It's got saunas, a bathing area, jacuzzis, um, a restaurant. It's part of the culture all throughout Asia. They have a lot of, they love their bathing centers and hot tubs and all that. So it's just part of the culture all throughout Asia. But you can see, I mean, this is a, a fully legit uh, room. And the prices are pretty fair. So that is one way around the rule. If you can't um, find a hotel that'll accept foreigners, you can look for one of these big bathhouses that have rooms like this you can stay in. And usually, uh, if you just show them your passport, you can stay there. Sometimes you don't even need to show them your passport. No, one thing about these, uh, this type of hotel, like, I'm, this is my first time staying in one. I've known that the option is there, but this is my first time using one because I, I don't know. I kind of prefer regular hotels. They seem a little quieter in some ways. Uh, but you can see I'm wearing slippers. The reason for that is when you come into a bathhouse, you have to check your shoes at the door. So I'm in the hotel room, but I can't access my shoes until I get out to the front, to the front lobby. When you see how nice this place is, I think you're gonna be kind of surprised. 
think I've got everything. Yeah. We're going for a pretty substantial outing today. So, huh. you can see, I mean, it, even though it is a bathhouse, it is, anyhow, <laughs> it's a fully legit, look, they've got the ladies there cleaning the rooms out. It's a fully legit hotel. So don't let the word bathhouse fool you. I mean, they do have little crappy, dirty type bathhouses in China too, but you can see this is not one. This place is like a, a mansion, literally. See, this is the spa area. They've got these heat rooms, like these big wooden capsule looking things. Um, and then if you just look, you've got like these, this huge rest area and uh, like a cafe type thing over here. I mean, this is a nice facility. It's top of the line. It's a brand new place. And that's the characters there. That's for the women's bathing area. That's like the shower room. And over here you've got the men's. If you come to China, you'll get familiar with these some of these characters pretty quickly. Now I'm heading out to the lobby. See, when you walk in the lobby here, this is what you see. It looks like a really nice hotel. You come in the front doors, and the first thing you do, you check your shoes at this area, and they give you slippers to wear. So, and this is the front area. It just looks basically like a hotel. Just had to go to the front counter and get a slip saying I'm leaving with my room number on it. And they retrieved my shoes from this room. <laughs> So all your shoes will be in here with a clip and your room number on it. So your shoes will be in good safekeeping. And just a quick view from outside, this is what it looks like. It wouldn't be a normal uh, day without getting some coffee, so I swung over here to a McDonald's. GC has a McDonald's, the city I live in doesn't. So here I am, uh, here I am <laughs> in the bus area. Kind of like a makeshift bus station. Got buses heading everywhere. This is the bus I want, but I don't see a driver and I don't see any passengers. GC going to Shinkaihu or Lake Kanka. But there ain't nobody in there. You have to excuse the uh, dirty windows here, but uh, it's been rainy. So and you can see it's kind of dusty around here. And we're traveling through some uh, rural areas now and I just think it looks kind of getting to the nitty gritty I think it looks cool so I thought I'd show you guys this view some little countryside villages I think it looks pretty interesting you can see some mountains in the background a lot of farming going on out here getting out here into as some would say deep China it's pretty deep Exploring unknown areas. You got these little homes growing different crops, a lot of corn. Okay, so we just got off the bus, this bus here in Mishan City. And uh, I want to show you this cool little car. Look at this car. It's funny with so many places, so many restaurants open, you'd think it'd be easier to find something to eat, but. So we came into a restaurant, it turns out it's a uh, North Korean style food. Pretty interesting kind of place too. You can see the rooms, unique look. So, we're gonna have some uh, stone, stone pot rice and vegetables with a little pork. And I'll show you when it arrives. So this is it. Uh, they call it bang fan. And uh, you can see it's got the Korean sauce in there, carrots, cucumbers, egg. It's got some pork, bean sprouts. It's pretty good. I'm expecting this one to be better than usual because it's an actual North Korean restaurant. So let's give it the taste test. And you really have to mix it up before you eat it. It takes a little time, but I love how the rice on the bottom gets kind of crispy. You can see that. And after you get it all mixed up, it looks like this. And the red sauce mixes in with it. It takes on kind of a orange color. Grab the taxi cruise down to Shaky. But uh you have some country scenic. On the outskirts of town. Kind of interesting looking homes here. At first glance they look like they're newly built and good, but then some of them are just torn all to bits. It's a really beautiful forest area out here. So 
we just got here to the to the lake, Lake Kanka or Shinkaihu. And as you can see, I mean sand. I'm wearing my shoes, but uh, I may take them off here in a minute. It's uh, it's so huge, it basically looks like an ocean. Yes, this is a lake. Fresh water. Huge. So just walking around and I, I want to go this way. There's no people. But look at the situation I'm in. I'd say this is about 12 feet long at least. <laughs> I was trying to keep the shoes on, but they might have to come off because I don't, I don't think I'm jumping across this. Excuse the white legs, guys, but uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, there was no way getting across. So, gonna go barefoot. And, ooh, gosh, that feels so good. It's not really too cold, but it's nice and cool. Today's not a hot day. Recently, it's been really hot and humid, but uh, now I can just get in the sand, get my feet all sandy, and get away from all these people. Let's see what we can see out here. Beautiful lake, and over here we got some people that did some fishing today. Um, they said they caught a few footlongers. Um, they're just packing up the net and heading home. And I'm just going to continue walking along and enjoying the uh, scenery. Just taking a quick restroom break in an internet bar. Look at these computers, huge screens. Everybody going at it full force. I haven't been in an internet cafe in so long. I used to come to them quite a bit when I first came to China. And I gotta say, this is on a different level from what they used to be. They used to be little, like, dark dungeon looking places with old crappy computers. Uh, cigarettes all over the floor, people spitting. It's this is a nice facility. Although of course there's still plenty of smoke in and but nothing like the other ones. I used to walk into the old internet cafe or the uh, yeah, internet cafes and just start like coughing and sneezing from all the cigarette smoke. So this is the night market I showed you last night. I got the draft beer, nice and cold. Decided to check it out. Um a lot of barbecue statement here with the leg. Showing all about Great singers. We're going to do some singing tonight to finish up the night. You can see how nice the karaoke is in China. It's not just like a, a little hole in the wall. It's like a nice, huge. Look at that. It's like a we nice place. Little room here. It's got the little. You choose your songs off this list. Small room, you know, very basic. But we're up here in the Northeast, you know, we're in one of China's lesser developed uh, provinces called Heilongjiang. And uh, so I don't know, I like it, I think it's pretty cool. Good morning, gentlemen, and good morning, everybody in between. I'm feeling tired, and I want to tell you one thing about uh, the sleeping experience here. They, they had the air conditioning on. 
um, last night when I went to bed, you know, it was nice and cool in here. And they did this previous night as well, so I was expecting it. They have the AC on, and then you go to sleep, you know, you feel cool and feel good. And then you wake up about uh, 3 or 4 a.m. sweating and hot. And you think, what in the world happened? Well, what they do, I talked to the uh, a lady working here uh, last night in the middle of the night. I said, hey, what happened? You know, why is it so hot? What did they do, turn off the AC? I already knew the answer to that. They did, and she called the manager and asked if they could turn it back on. And what they did instead was uh, bring me a fan. They told me to open a window and, and turn on a fan. So you can see, sleep in my boxers, uh, kick off the blanket, got the fan right on me. And um, I still, it's still hot. I mean, it's not unbearable, but it, it's not very comfortable. So yeah, that's... Uh, a situation and that's the type of situation that you could very well experience in China uh, but the thing is if you stay in like a real hotel they'll usually have an AC unit not like a central unit like that like a, a, pro, a personal AC unit that you can control just thought I'd share that experience with you all okay here at the airport back where we st right back where we started from and aboard this little aircraft short flight it's been a fun trip. Uh, the scenery was slightly, it wasn't quite as good as I expected, but that's mostly because I didn't have time to really to spend because that Lake Konka is so huge. I mean, there's some there's so many nice areas out there, but you need more time. So I just didn't have the time. This was just a short trip, but uh, all in all, the experience was great. Met a lot of really nice people. Got to explore a new place. And uh, fortunately, it's time to get back to the daily grind. Like China Southern, baby. North China. Make sure I'm safe. Thank you.